Hey guys, so I um, was writing my little blurb about the chalkboard markers and the little board that I got from Chocola. I don't even know if that's how you say it. But I thought I would do a little video because when I was trying to explain about how the old chalkboard markers that I used to use were like, <clears throat> like the color wasn't good and it was kind of stringy um, and how these like lay down and wipe off easy. I thought I would show you what I mean by that. So I went ahead and wrote in my calligraphy that says baby girl. Sorry, I my camera isn't flipped, so you'll just have to trust me. Um, and I did it with the Chocola markers um, right here. So it came with the white one, so I've already opened that and used it. But this is the other set that I got. This is the um, uh, 30 marker set. Um, so this is how easily it wipes off. So my other one, I had to use a um, all-purpose cleaner, which was kind of ridiculous. It's just chalk. I mean, obviously you still don't want these things to smear, but this just comes off much, much easier than those. Like, the other ones were staining my chalkboard. And this one, it's literally just water on like a little rag. So, and I'm already done. That's like crazy easy compared to the other markers. And then I also like this chalkboard that they sent me because it's magnetic as well. So if I wanted to put like any cute little notes on this or other little decorations, if I like just for example, this chalkboard is gonna be used for like a, I don't know, a baby shower or something. Um, and I'd probably clean it a little bit better, but here we are. So the other thing I was gonna show you is how quickly these markers start to work. The other ones, you kind of have to pump for a really long time, which I didn't, think was a big deal at the time because um that's how they all kind of are so the instructions right on the side says shake with cap on and upright <laughs> simple enough remove cap and press tip multiple times quickly to get in flowing so we're gonna do that and just little bits you know kind of like you're doing a pen race from when we were in school I don't know if that uh was something that you did but see this one's already flowing so from the ones that I had gotten from Amazon which I'm not gonna try to call out the brand but these are my old ones and they were really I mean I think it just said window marker on it they were cheap the Chocola ones were like the same price so let's just see um, I don't know I'll do like let's just do a pretty little flower but you see how vibrant that is? For the other markers, I would have had to go over it a few times. And this is like way, way better. Like it's pigmented, the color flowed nicely. If I wanted to start to put some details in it like I do for the calligraphy, it spreads, it doesn't have those weird little interruptions that the other ones did where it looks like the marker is kind of resisting you. So I'm doing like a little plumeria here. Do a little beachy flower. Just add some texture to it, some dimension. Um, and I also do this chalkboard stuff, not just for, you know, people who want me to make them a sign for an event. I just also find it very relaxing personally. So some really, really pretty color on that. Maybe add a little bit extra detail because I'm type A. So um, I looked look up some videos online and then if you buy a paintbrush, which I'm going to go do, you can actually make like a little puddle of this ink and then paint it on and it'll look a little bit more gradient. So sometimes when you see like professional signs done um that's how they do it Ooh, I'm gonna use this color this color is really pretty it's not like a normal green oh wait hold on I have to shake it <laughs> um and I found that actually even though it says to pump it it's a lot easier to kind of just press and hold you know for these because I can already see it like when I hold it longer that it comes out 
Yep, it's already here. Hello, green. So let's just do, again, this is like a simple little flower. And look at how beautiful that green is. I mean, my artistic skills are like not shining on this one. You see how pretty? Okay, so when it comes to lettering, so I know not all of you are lettering people. So I'll just write um, something cute. Like I'll just write yay. So this is how I do it when I'm not using a brush pen or a calligraphy pen. And it might seem like I'm using my handwriting here, but I'm not. It's actually kind of like drawing the letters. But the reason why the flow of the ink is so important is because if this skips or has like a lack of consistency in how it lays down, it pretty much asks you to redo the whole letter. Otherwise the ink doesn't lay down nicely. So for those of you that I've made ornaments for, I'm gonna be ordering these markers in, um, like the paint pens as well, not just chalk. So there's the chocolate markers. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and show you another color just because I really am just obsessed with how bright these are compared to my other ones. Like I almost wish I had a sign to show you the difference in the colors so that you didn't have to take my word for it. But the other ones just looked like, a, like a, there was a bleached out Instagram filter. Um, not that it was bad. It's just that this one is, oh, see that ink's already coming out. This one is so much better. So I'll just do, um, I don't know, like little swirls. So look at that blue. It's so cute. This blue is really nice. It's like a sky blue, like literally like the sky. It kind of, kind of reminds me of some of the colors that were popular in the nineties. You know, just little flourishes here and there to make this sign a little bit more festive. And obviously this is not at all how I would do something professional, but I figured if I'm gonna do something to show how an everyday person would use it, that I might as well do it in that manner. I will post some professional chalkboards later using these markers as projects come up. So, Here's blue. And then, let's see, let's do a purple. Here's a really nice purple. A really poppy purple. So these have, ooh. Actually, you know what? I like this one better. Oops, I like this one better. Sorry, you have to watch me like start every single one but I had I mean there's 30 so the ones that I've already used that actually probably would have been smarter of me to like start with those oh well you live you learn I'm not exactly a video blogger this is not a professional YouTube channel okay so let's just do some little detailing in my pretty pretty little flower Keep it looking nice and beach style the way I would draw these things like when I was little. The purple, oh, you can't really see it, I guess, on the camera, but it's showing up nicely against the black. All right, guys, so um, if you stay to the end, congratulations. If you wanna get on their website, chocola.com, Laura Z10 will get you 10% off because I sent them an email and I was like, I'm obsessed with these. And so there you go. There's a little coupon code. You're welcome. Have a good one.